Ayan. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, scientific and matibay student. Siyempre, welcome to our General Physics 1 class. Ayan. And siyempre, Sir Jason, bago tayo mag-proceed ulit sa another topic, we would like to congratulate everyone. Congratulations sa inyong mga anak. Clap, 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 clap. Lahat ng efforts na ipinakita ninyo ay soon magiging worth it. it. At so, syempre, yeah. Ma'am Tintin, nakita ko talaga sa loob ng faculty yes, room yung mga, yung mga ano ginawa nila? nila na super effort yes. talaga. E4 effort. Ayan. Okay. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations, mga anak. So now, syempre, magpo-proceed tayo sa ating panibagong topic which is all about Describing relationship of work and energy. Siyempre, so, yung word energy. na energy, dapat tumbasan natin ang oh. energy din. And for that, ang bilis, di ba? Module 9 na po tayo. Wow. Nasa module 9 na po tayo. And for our target or objectives for today, meron po tayong ilan? Dalawa. First is to relate work done with kinetic and potential energy. At syempre naman, hindi mawawala <laughs> ang solving problems involving kinetic and potential energy. energy. So let's move on. Huwag na tayong magpaligoy-ligoy pa. Unahin muna natin ang definition of course ng energy. Sa Tagalog, lakas. Enerhiya. Enerhiya. Ay, akala ko lakas. <laughs> Ayan, di mo memorize na memorize ko yan ng elementary ko. Energy oh, is the ability to do, do work. work. Ganon. Uh, it is not a material substance. Energy can be stored and measured in many, many forms. forms. Ayan. Okay, sabi nga nila, siya yung rason kung bakit nag-move ang isang object. So, energy yes. yon. And energy cannot be destroyed. Instead, nagta-transform lang siya into different forms. Yan nga yung sinasabi niya dito, measured in many forms. Kung kaya, kaya naman, Ma'am Tintin, meron tayong mga tinatawag na mechanical energy, yes. chemical energy, and etc. Ayun. And take note, mga anak, that the main source of energy is, of course, coming from the sun. Yes, the sun. And madidiscuss natin yung mga bagay na yan sa mga susunod na topic. Na araw. And under energy, Okay, meron ayun, tayong tinatawag na? Ayan, na. ayan. Energy is considered as either potential or kinetic. Okay, let's first have potential energy is static and can be subdivided into gravitational potential energy, internal potential energy, and of course, elastic potential energy. Ayan. Okay? Static siya, ah. Take note of the word, <laughs> static. Saan? 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 Ayun, static signature. Static. Ano sa isip mo ng static? Static mga bata 'yun. Ay mga bata ba 'yun? Static, ayan. And of course, we have this one definition. I define na? natin lahat 'yan. Mechanical energy, 'yan 'yan po tayo kasi under mechanical energy we have kinetic and potential and under potential meron tayong tatlo. So isa-isahin natin. From the word mechanical. Okay, ayan. coming from. So, yeah. It is the energy present in an object that is due to object's motion or, or position. 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 Nakadepende po yan sa motion and position yes. ng isang bagay. And take note that it is equal to the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. Uh, kapag pinagsama mo si kinetic at potential, yes. yan si mechanical energy. Yes, kaya nga po under niya si kinetic and potential. At pag sinabi mong kinetic, it is an energy based on motion, okay? Yes. Siyempre, si potential, kung motion si kinetic, siya naman si position of an object. Ayan. Yeah. Okay. It is an energy based on position of an object naman, kay. At si potential, potential. energy, ma'am, nakakategorize siya into three forms. Okay? Yes. Una is the gravi gravitational potential energy from the word itself, gravity. gravity. It is an energy of an object possesses because of its position in the gravitational yes, field. Yan. yan. Nasusukat po yan, di ba, kapag gravity, Huhugutin niya pababa. So, ibig Ang sabihin, zambagay. nasa taas siya, yung, yung pag-fall niya or yung height niya, doon po natin makikita ang kanyang gravity. Okay, let's have internal potential energy is an energy that is available but not actually being used at the moment. Such chemical energy that is capable of being released in combustion. Yes. So, no? Available siya, pero hindi pa siya ginagamit pa minsan-minsan. Yes. For, for example niyan is, 
Mga Actually, guys. hindi natin siya ito isasolve natin today. Pero, ang example niya is yung yellow. For example, nilagay mo siya sa tubig. Yung up doon ng paglamig ng tubig mm -hmm. is yun yung nandoon yung moment. internal potential energy. So, matatakal natin yun sa mga susunod na araw. And last is, elastic potential energy is an energy that is stored due to the formation by an elastic object. For example, stretching a spring. Yes, stretching a spring basta lahat ng, ng pwede elastic. mong Yes, Goma. banatin. Uh, banatin. Goma. Yes, elastic. So, let us now proceed with our... Examples! Ay, formula pa ba with examples? Sorry, exactly. Formulas muna. Ipakita natin. So, note. Ayan, mechanical energy, sabi nga natin, is the sum of potential and kinetic. So, ibig sabihin, ito po ang ating formula. Sum. So, pag-aadin okay. mo lang yung potential energy and kinetic energy. Take note that... Total mechanical energy stands for TME and potential energy. Siyempre, obviously, it's PE. Then, kinetic energy, it, it's KE. 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 Sorry, sorry. KE. -E. Masaya ka man, Jude. <laughs> okay, yan ang ating unang -E. formula. Second. Kaya mo na yan, Ma'am Pia. Ayan. Second naman, we have for gravitational potential energy. It is a potential energy that depends on the object's height. Gaya nga nang sinabi ko kanina, height. So, ibig sabihin, our formula is potential energy or PE sub gravity is equal to M times G times H. Wherein, Mass times gravity times, times height. Yan. Okay. So, G is our gravity or acceleration due to Gravity. And take note that acceleration due to gravity is always equal to 9.8 meter per yes, second. Yes, second squared. Okay. So, palagi yung tatandaan yun. Constant na, yun. Constant. And, meron pa mga 16 na formulas to eh. Char. Ayan. Elastic potential energy is a potential energy that is acquired by the body when work is done against elastic forces acting on it. Ayan. Therefore, Potential energy or stands for PEE elas, okay? Para potential energy elastic ba yan? Yes. Is equal to the one half of K x squared, wherein K is the spring constant and x is the compression or extension length. Mama yaman -hmm. malalaman nila kung paano yah apply yung formula. Okay. Yan. And take note that yung one half dito is tinatawag nating constant. Kung ako Ibig sabihin na, hindi nababago. Kung kung magbibigay ng problem, dyan ang hahanapin nila dyan. Yung, yung X, ganon. Hindi, yung K. Yung K. Ayan. Bongga, mga ganon. Next! Eto na. Meron pa tayong... Ay, meron pa. Formula ang isa. Kine Formula for kinetic energy is, sabi nga natin, it is the energy of motion. And kinetic energy of any moving object depends upon its mass and speed. Therefore, our formula will be... Just go. Elementary pa lang yan, alam uh, natin. Kinetic energy or KE is equal to 1 half mass times, times velocity, velocity squared. Squared. Yan. Sarap -sarap substitute, substitute. And ito pa, meron tayo. Meron work tayong energy work energy relationship. relationship. Ano nga ba ang relationship nila? Okay, basa. There is a strong connection between work and energy. Alam naman natin yan. In a sense that when there is a net force doing work on an object, the object's kinetic energy will change by an amount equal, equal. to the work done. Okay. Uh, so, ibig sabihin, work done is equal to change. Yung triangle po natin, ibig sabihin, change yan. Exponential change in energy. Yes. And, it is also equal, dapat pareha siya kay kinetic, kinetic energy. energy. And, it is also equal to elastic, elastic potential, potential energy. energy. So, yung apat na yan ay magkakapareho lang. Yes. Dapat equal sila. And, take note, ayan. Meron pa tayong isa. I think this is the last slide. Take note that the unit of energy is also Newton, Newton meter. Ah, Newton meter. Yes. So or joules. joules. Ayan. And we also have the following formulas. What if work versus kinetic energy, work versus gravitational potential energy, and work versus elastic potential energy. So, screenshot nyo itong mga anak. Isulat ninyong maigi. These are the formulas na gagamitin natin if ever meron tayong ma-encounter na work versus kinetic, so on and so, so forth. forth. And let's now apply those formulas using our examples! examples.
naman. Siyempre naman, dahil love na love natin sila, let's have our first example. Basahin ka? Yes, of course. By the virtue of Vested its on me. position. Ay, sorry, sorry. By the virtue of its position, what is the energy possessed by a rock weighing 450 kilogram which lies on the edge of a cliff 150 meter high? Okay. Ayan, dahil meron siyang height, ang problem na yan ay... Kinatawag natin gravitational, gravitational potential, potential energy. energy. Again, gravitational potential energy ang klase ng problem na ganyan kapag meron tayong mass at meron tayong height. Yes. Okay, because our formula in finding GPE or gravitational potential energy is always equal to mass times gravity times height. Okay, let's have first mass. Ano pong value ng mass? Anong value ng gravity? At ano ang value ng ating height? Take note, on our problem, our mass is obviously ang bigat ay equal to 450 kilogram. kilogram. Bigat. Ang height natin, syempre, yung may meter. 100 50 meter. 50 meter. At sabi namin pa ulit-ulit mga anak, when we are talking, if we are talking on gravity or gravitational force, that is equal to? 9.8 meter per second squared. Meter per second squared. Okay, that is constant. Hindi po yan napapalitan. Yes. Okay, by substitution, G, P, E is equal to mass, which is 450 kilogram times okay our g or gravity is equal to 9.8 meter per second squared times our height is equal to 150 meter using our calculator <laughs> kung anong pagkakasulat yun ang pagkakapindot 150 times 9.8 times 150 That is equal to 661,500 okay, newton meter, meter or joule. joule. Yan pong Ayan. ating uh, unit kapag hinahanap natin is G. PE. Are we clear, Mom? Yes, clear na clear. So, okay. final answer natin, 661,500. Okay. Example number two, you have an elastic spring that has a spring constant of 1.5 times 10 raised to negative 2 newton meter and the spring compressed by 15.0 centimeter. What is the potential energy of the spring? Okay, so given na dyan kung ano hinahanap, potential energy daw. And our formula for potential energy is 1 half times K or spring constant times x squared. Ang x po natin ay ang extension or ang compression, compression. ng isang object. But before that, mga anak, based sa napag-aralan natin before, take note na dapat po lagi tayong in terms of meter. meter. So, since ang given dito, sige, extract muna natin yung given para hindi tayo malito. Kunin natin si k at kunin natin si x. Sabi natin, spring constant na banggit dyan, meron po tayong 1.5 times 10 raised to negative 2. At ang x naman natin or ang compression is 15.0 cm. Sabi natin, Kaya dapat na daw... Ano, unit yung k. Ay, hindi ko nasulat. Newton Sorry. per meter. Newton per meter. Yan. Sabi natin sa compression, dapat daw in terms of meter, meter tayo. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, we need to convert. Ang tawag doon, conversion. Tama? We need to convert by multiplying. Ayan. So, since CM yung nandyan, di ba meron tayong imaginary denominator of 1? Para makancel si CM, ilagay natin siya sa baba. Sa taas naman, si meter. So, in 1 meter, ilang centimeter ang meron tayo? 100. 100. Okay, let's apply. 100, ay sorry, 15 times 1. 15 times 1 is equal to 15. I-divide mo daw siya kay 100. So, divided by 100. 15 divided by 100, it is equal to 3 all over 20 or 0.15 meter. Na-cancel yung centimeter, na-cancel yung centimeter, therefore, meter po ang naiwan. So, take note mga anak, na ang gagamitin po natin kay X ay C0.15 meter. So, we are now ready to substitute it to our formula. We have now 
potential energy of elastic is equal to constant ang 1 half. So, 1 half times, okay? Ang k daw natin ay 1.5 times 10 raised to negative 2 newton meter. Times, ang x natin ay 0 0.5. 15 meter. So, using our calculator, kung May paano ko siya on. sinulat, sorry, I'm so sorry. Kung paano ko siya sinulat, ganun din ang pagkakatype, pwede po natin siyang idiretsyo. Okay. So, we have fraction muna, 1 half, and then multiplication, parenthesis, 1.5 times 10 raised to, sorry, raised to negative 2. Close parenthesis. And then, multiply mo ulit ang 0 0.15. Take note squared. So, therefore, our final answer would be, ayan, pindutin nyo lang po yung SD. Saan yung SD? Ayan. Pindutin lang ang SD. Ayan. Ang final answer natin is 1.6875 times 10 raised to negative Four. Pero kung ang hinahanap natin ay 2 decimal point, pwede ring 1.69 times 10 raised to negative 4. Final, Final answer. answer. And so for last example, what is the kinetic energy of a baseball where mass is, whose I'm sorry, mass is whose mass is 200 grams when it is thrown with a velocity of 16 meter per second. Extract. Okay, extract natin. So, given yung formula, kinetic energy, yan daw ang sabi ng given. So, extract natin, we have, kukunin natin ang mass at kukunin natin ang velocity. So, for mass, meron tayong 200 grams. At for velocity, we have 16 meter per second. So, take note, mga anak, gaya ng discussion natin sa ating previous modules. Kapag daw mass, kailangan laging in terms of kilogram. So, dapat i-convert muna natin siya. I-convert natin ulit. Okay. So, dito ang grams. In 1 kilogram, ilang grams po ang meron tayo? 1,000. Let's solve. 200 times 1 kilogram is 200 kilogram divided by 1,000 gram. So, cancel ang gram, cancel ang gram. We have 200 divided by 1,000. 200 divided by 1,000 is equal to 0 0.2. So, we have 0 0.2 kilogram. Ito cancel po ang ating gagamitin. Cancelled, 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 cancelled. Kilogram. Okay. Next, we are now ready to substitute. Kinetic energy is equal to 1 half times ilan yung mass natin? 0 0.2 kilogram times velocity natin is 16 meter per second square. Ayan. So, we have kung paano na isolve natin yung CR calculator, kung paano sinulat, ganun din ang pagkakatype. So, we have fraction 1 half close 0 0.2 then multiplied by 16 squared. Huwag yes. kakalimutan ng squared. It is now equal to Ayan, 25 kinetic energy now is equal to 25.6 newton meter or joule. Final answer. Yun, galing. Yun. And that's all for today, mga anak ko. And that is all about module number 9. Yeah. Mag-aral kayong mabuti. Lagi sinasabi ni Mampimpin, lahat ay kakayanin dahil lahat kayo ay hashtag Scientastic, Scientastic and students. Bye-bye, students. Bye-bye.